Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the description. I should really be. My dad thinks I'm a clown And I can't make him proud But I don't wear a frown Mm-mm. I don't wear a frown Mm-mm. Cause I keep losing Ego won't stop bruising But it's like I've got this druid In my mind singing It'll be a way Cause my friends are gonna fake, fake, fake Take an L, take an L, and the world is up in flames, 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 and I'm the one to blame, 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 blame. So I'm just gonna take, 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 take an L, I take an L. Hey, hey, hey! Just think while you've been getting down and out about the fact that the boy you like died and your mustache burned off and you found out that your dad doomed an entire world because of something that you did only for you to grow up and doom it again, which only proves that his decision to save your life probably wasn't worth it. You could have been getting down to this sick beat. A flesh whore made me open that door and it's all my fault, but I'm just gonna take it. Though the stapler over there got the dueler to his lair because I helped him get to heaven. Gonna take, take. Take. Cause my friends are gonna fake, 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 fake. And my heart is gonna break, 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 break. So I'm just gonna take, 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 take. Take an L, take an L. And the world is up in flames, 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 flames. And I'm the one to blame, 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 blame. So I'm just gonna take, 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 take. Take an L, I take an L. Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast, a podcast mm-hmm. about four teens it's using the game of Dungeons and Dragons to tell a story about. Wait, they're not using the game of Dungeons we and are Dragons. We are playing these four teens to tell a story of four teens from our world sent back to another dimension, back to our world again to fix the world that their grandparents messed up. My name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift, the tiefling rogue of the group. First of all, happy new year, everybody. 2024. Welcome back. We're not recording this in 2024. We're recording this in 2023. Uh, we're in the past. <laughs> but you listening in the future, how was it like over there? Oh, wow. <laughs> Taylor's. Congrats on time person of the year. Thank you so much. Beth. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't want to bring it up because it'd be self aggrandizing, <laughs> but that's not. Thank you, Beth. Taylor's. Team Wait, fan. is it that they do It's You Again? Do you remember when they did no, that? No, it was Taylor Swift. It's Taylor, it was Taylor Swift. Swift. Oh, it is? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Hell yeah. I didn't know that. Taylor Swift was... Wait, but it's not... The, oh, it is this year. It's not next year, but it was the this year is the... I, I'm I don't know where we are, Will. I remember how time, time works now. Go ahead. Wait, remember, yeah, highs. they did do the U, right? They did the U. They did U one yeah. time. Yeah. I remember looking at it and be like, yeah, but like they gave it to Hitler, too. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't feel good about myself after that. I would never <laughs> accept an award that Hitler won. <laughs> what are you crazy? Yeah. I that Time Magazine in the trash. Time. You can't tie me into this. Time Magazine and Chat GPT you do not have consent to use my image or likeness in your magazine or large language learning model. Share this with 10 people or else you're going to get chatted. <laughs> my name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift. Hi, Freddie. Hi, Freddie. Hello, hello, hello. Taylor Scene Fact, Taylor was the runner-up for Teen Highs, Teen of the Year. Who won? I please bet normal, you, normal, I bet normal, you normal, normal. normal. No, it's margarita. Oh, margarita pizza one. Margarita yeah. pizza one. That's yeah. fair. Valid. 100%. Taylor was a close second because he placed third at the. You remember? Okay, you know competitive cup stacking. I'm deciding that Taylor Swift he, did he cup stacking. Second in the school because he placed third in cup stacking. <laughs> yeah, which is the best <laughs> anyone from Team I'm about, I'm about one and two. He meddled, Matt. He meddled. <laughs> oh, 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 I thought you meant like it was a school competition. No, <laughs> no, like, no, no. Okay. The schools don't have the competition. <laughs> the outside. Guy in the second place got canceled. <laughs> yeah. State. It I was think state. State. Okay, oh, state. God. Dude, I got cancer. State. That's like, why he got canceled. Frank, <laughs> did he do cup stacking? No, I didn't. I didn't. 
I did it for a little bit. You did cup stacking? You <laughs> look so cool Man, in the commercial. You did cup stacking. I'm gonna get, get, five, get five cups right now. For those of you who don't know, they sold that at Target. Yeah, like, I know, I know. They I were know. like, it was just cups. <laughs> 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 but the commercials were like the same kids that drink like fucking like Capri Sun and shit would then like pop up and then be like, yo, cup stack. And they turn their caps backwards and then like stack cups up and down. And you're like, I want that. <laughs> so Matt, like the epitome of cool to you was somebody who drank Capri Sun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was in third grade once. So, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so Taylor's a competitive cup stacker. And he's, cool. not, he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> I mean, third in state is better than okay, Freddie. No, it was like a prelim prelim, you know what I mean? <laughs> So he did it. Where they gave out medals? <laughs> Dude, no, no, no. That's what Taylor said. He came this back. Story he was like, full of oh. holes. Taylor, that's what Taylor said. He came back to school. And he was like, I medaled. And like, you mean you got third place? He's like, yes, but my medal's at home. It's getting polished at the. Um... He just means that he medaled in the competition <laughs> by cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I metal by pre stacked cups, and because of that, Abby, <laughs> yeah, it's like those. Andy, it's like those decks of cards. Of that, he got yeah, second. it's the cards that are all connected. But yeah, <laughs> they were about to disqualify him, but then they're like, "Well, the problem is, then there was only be the whole episode. Can we just dig deeper and deeper on this fact, please?" Here's here's what Matt, you were right though. You were right. Is that is that he? They would have disqualified him, but here's the problem: uh-huh. there would have only been one other kid. <laughs> it's not a popular sport in the future. <laughs> The okay. end. Mm. This story brought to you by Freddie Wong. Mm, the stat went on Weaver. one anecdote too long. If y'all want to know, there might be a little weird energy this episode goes. This is, this is Daddy's Nights. Daddy's We're recording Nights. this late. Welcome First to Daddy's late Nights. In a long time. Uh, yes. Hey, everybody. My name is Matthew Arnold. I play Lincoln Lee Wilson, the schooled at home soccer kid who became a protective paladin <gasps> to he, his spouse. Did he drop boss kicks? He's dropping it right now. <gasps> He's not feeling like a boss right now. But. There was a time when he felt like a boss. Mm-hmm. So we've talked that? about that. Lincoln's only real social uh, network that he liked was Nextdoor. And <laughs> um, I remember this. this yeah. So uh, Grant and Marco both agreed that, like, he can't always use his free time for soccer. Like, they did have to also teach him the arts and stuff. So he had to come up with something. So Lincoln got really into painting and sculpting. Of course, all he did was paint and sculpt soccer players and his own foot and stuff like that. And he, decided, <laughs> and he decided to start selling that stuff on Nextdoor, but he didn't want to mix business with pleasure, so he set up his own little, like, secondary account called <laughs> called Foot King, and he would sell, <laughs> he would sell art. That's he would good. sell all the cool art he was doing of, like, paintings and sculptures. Never sold anything. Got a few interesting messages that made Grant and Marco to take him off Nextdoor. You know, Link's actually a pretty good painter, is what I'm saying, at the end of the day. But only feet. But only feet. Well, soccer Poses. Well, you know, you know what's funny is you know it's funny like close a lot up of, shots of feet kicking you know, soccer like balls. A lot, of, a lot of artists will study like the hands. Yeah, like, you'll see like you know their hand, and then his is just like big old nubby toes. Just yeah, wiggling, it's, it's, like studying, out. it's like studying a samurai sword. It's like his weapon. No, it's, it's not. Like he's got to understand. Not, I, I need like to know. I need to be able to draw my foot from memory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the back of my foot. Uh, I'm so interested in what like the next door messages might have been because like, every like, time was, I go on next door, it's like, what was that noise? <laughs> It would have been like, been like seen that foot. It would been like Foot King here, a few new pieces. You know, if you want to buy them, that's cool. Just a couple dollars a piece just to help me get my next soccer ball. Uh, just come to. <laughs> I have a soccer, soccer ball at my house. Why don't you come over alone to my house with a soccer ball? And I'll get you a soccer ball. <laughs> and then you put them up. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Will Campos. I play I Normal will. Oak. He's a perky, peppy, chipper, cheery school spirit mascot. Not the kid. last two episodes, that's for sure. No, he was now, but, you know, we'll see how this episode goes. He's a goes. downer, Debbie. D- oh. Downy, <laughs> Debber, dummy, doofus, school, depressed, depressed <laughs> ruin the world kid. Um, fun fact about Normal this week, continuing with the hot glue gun motif from last week, uh, we learned about Normal's high quality trigger discipline and his instinctual knowledge of the hot glue gun. I also would like to take this opportunity to reveal that Normal always keeps that thing on him. This whole time, <laughs> Wait, he's been what? strapped what? with a hot glue gun. God. But I'm plugged in, so it's just a, it's just a glue it's gun. It's a cold glue gun. A it's, battery-powered one. That's called the safety. That's the safety, yeah. That's it's, he's got it. It's the cord is wrapped up. He's ready to plug it into an outlet and get to glue town in a moment's notice. He well, not a moment. It's about four minutes to heat <laughs> about up. About four minutes notice. Like Chow Yun-Fat's friend in The Killer, he always keeps one glue gun stick in the chamber <laughs> for either his enemy or himself. Wow. I love it. Either for his enemy's crafts or his own crafts. Yeah. <laughs> hi, I play. I, I don't play anybody. Wait, okay. Hi, hi, I'm Beth May. First of all, that's important information. And then um, I play Scary Marlowe, who's a goth punk seeker of darkness. He's not like the other warlocks. Um, fun New Year's fact about Scary is that she doesn't have a New Year's resolution 
because she looked up the definition of uh, resolution, which is a firm decision to do or not to do something, and decided it was too resolute, you know? It's, like, too firm. There's, Dang. like, not enough wiggle room. So cool. Because she wants to be able to maybe do something and maybe not do something. So, yeah, yeah the idea of resolving to do something is, um, yeah, pretty childish, honestly. <laughs> I'm Anthony Birch. I'm your dad. Hey, dad. What's up, daddy o? And uh, <laughs> this episode set in 1955. Those cool cats. My dad fact is uh, longtime listeners will know my quest to write for the most unsung art forms in human expression uh, yes. video games, comics, porn, and wrestling. Mm -hmm. And I've done video games and comics, and I just need to do porn and wrestling. And a porn site reached out. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> Reach that around, that? if you will. <laughs> porn site they didn't like my outside. writing, but they liked my dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns out, yeah, my dad fact is I'm quitting to do porn. <laughs> Wait, can you imagine watching so much porn that a porn site reaches out? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you gotta calm down. You gotta stop. These alleys make money while you do this. Like, you're drinking water, right? <laughs> But yeah, they reached out, and uh, if everything goes well, then I will write a porn for Say Uncle, and I'll let everybody know when it comes up. Can but they, I ask you they sent what? me a care package in, in the meantime. What, <laughs> what was in that care package? Well, they were, one was a book of porn, which was great. Oh, wow. Wait, a book of porn? A book of porn. Yeah, I know. It was just a bunch of ta really tasteful <laughs> right, photos. Was books of porn. Before yeah, of dudes that. railing each other. The care package just had like... Just Gaston being like, there's no pictures. <laughs> They sent me a bunch of lovely things in terms of like, it was like lube, condoms, like all the normal sex stuff. But then they also included electrolytes, which I Whoa, feel is that's, uh, that's really extra nice. thoughtful. Yeah. And really charge lemonade in there? Or, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anthony, can I ask, Our are you, liquid death. in terms of like scenario, do you have any thoughts? Or are you going to just like scare? I've already written the script. Ooh. <laughs> I've just been waiting. I wrote it on spec. I've just been waiting for somebody to come to me. <laughs> and then come on me. <laughs> Did you happen to write anybody uh, you parts? know into it? <laughs> <laughs> you know that Anthony's move on the script is that he'll just put in placeholder names that are just people I know, he knows. just knows. We're gonna Matt be Arnold. <laughs> We're watching. It's going to be like Matt Arnold walks into the door. Yeah, and they use our, yeah use our names, dog. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I won't. They did actually say, like, we did a Dungeons and Dragons scene once, and people were really upset because we rolled D6s instead of D20s. So Ooh, make sure, yeah, make sure you don't do that. And I was like, oof, yeah. yeah. Take me out of that. Come on. <laughs> how, about some fucking, how about some fucking respect for the craft? Huh? How about a little bit of research? <laughs> I thought you meant that they had rolled a six, so it, like, wasn't as good of a cum shot as <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, it's out Shit. of focus. <laughs> you just invented something really good. <laughs> Because <laughs> right. we've all done that. We've all like been like, oh, I kind of rolled a seven yeah, on that. that was a, that oh, was yeah. a, that was a mid eights roll. Yeah. yeah, I've never critical failed. <laughs> yeah. I, I have. <laughs> <laughs>basically gotten all the daddy magic that you needed to send dude back to their home dimension. And we won. And you won, and everything was fine. Except, uh, as Norman uh -huh. was talking to Sparrow, it turned out that Sparrow was once again Willie in disguise. Willie put the collar on a dude that said, do whatever Willie Stampler says. Normal then, in attempting to take dude to a plane where uh, Willie could not get, used, what was it, plane jump? Demi, Demi plane. What was it called? Plane shift. Plane shift. Plane shift. Demi yeah. plane um, is to Will like darkness is to Freddy. <laughs> yeah. I'm always trying to get people in new planes and it's never yeah. worked out once. Never, worked never out. once has the plane shift boded well for me. So yes, he plane shifted Willie and dude and Lincoln and himself to heaven because Willie can't get to heaven. And then right after doing that, so normal realized, to heaven oh no, he got that. to heaven because I brought him there. So Willie ran into heaven, closed the door behind him, and heaven went dark. So they say normal might be the chosen one. Never said what he was chosen for. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's Could true. have been chosen to fuck everything up. That's true. Damn. So I guess- Are the, we the four the horsemen of the apocalypse? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the party shit. is currently split. Taylor and Scary are on Old Earth in Oakvale with Henry, Lark, and Sparrow. Link and Normal are in heaven in line to a now closed heaven. What are you going to do? Where do we want to start? Matt, should we start? Feels like you two got to start. You're in heaven, dog. All right. <laughs> Who should start, me or you, Matt? Oh, no. <laughs> Dungeons <laughs> Daddy's Nights is bad. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, this is bad. Oh, oh, no. Whoa. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, Anthony, so it's dark, you were saying? Heaven went dark. The gates of heaven went dark. Like, if you didn't think there were lights inside heaven, oh, but suddenly no. when the gates closed, so, all the clouds, the big white clouds that you saw above heaven turned into storm clouds, and lightning starts striking, and everything seems a little bit darker and wrong hmm, because hmm, somebody who was hmm. not supposed to get into heaven got into heaven. Hmm, hmm, Angels! Hmm, hmm. Yeah. Angels, help! So, gonna call the fucking cops, bro. And yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got a dolphin and everything, bro. Well, they were all stuck inside, though. Um, Flippy and Flapper so, and whatever they were called. What were their names, Matt? <laughs> Flippy, Flapper, Blowhole, por- <laughs> Porpy. Porpy? <laughs> blowhole. Porpy and Blowhole. They're cops. <laughs> I need to go and rewrite my script. <laughs> <laughs> You see uh, an angel arise from within heaven, but as it gets closer, you notice something is wrong with it. It's, you know, it's a big burning eye with like wings coming off of it. It's burning now. Yeah. Well, I mean, they were always burning, you know, (laughs) biblically accurate angels were always kind of on fire. Okay. They were burning red, but with clear eyes now. Actually, yeah. You know, the way clear eyes works where they show you the little like weird red tentacles, tendrils in your eyes. It's got those, but those tendrils are purple. So the eye is all fucked up as it approaches you and it's like flying through the air in this kind of a sickly way. And it hovers in front of you. Actually, normal. Last time I asked a question, it ate me. Uh, and I don't know if we should. Uh, um, uh, oh, okay. Okay. There's a bad guy in heaven. Hey, yeah. Hey. Call uh, the big guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. It's God. Yeah. Do the rise. Do we do it? <gasps> if we do the rise, I'm going to do an arcana roll mm-hmm. to see if I can clock whether this means that God is also under the possession of the doodler. I got an eight. You got an eight? No way of knowing. Okay. Well, okay. The angel blinks over both of you at the same time. You, for a moment, are sharing the infinite darkness that is at the inside of the angel's pupil, and you feel the wetness on your uh, waist as it blinks on top of you. Blink, is this what it was like last time? Yeah, but it's less lonely. Yeah, uh, well, that's nice. <laughs> well, because there's just like it was internal darkness, but like you're here now, so it's yeah. like, cool. Okay, well, that's I mean, not cool. Like, it's scary. But I mean, like, yeah, but like that's nice that there's two of us and yeah. we're up here. As you're getting blinked on, you hear the sound of a door opening and then slamming in the direction of the door to heaven. And the angel opens its eye and removes itself from your bodies. And you can see now that all the dolphins that were in the accounting <gasps> area have been kicked out of heaven. <gasps> and they're all going, Flapper, Grill Master. Gil, <laughs> Gil Master. Keep going. Grill Master. No, 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 Gilly. <laughs> Grill Master. I run, I'm like, Link, okay, those, those are your dolphin buddies, yeah. right? Okay, maybe they can, like, okay, look, we just need to regroup. I know that this is okay. kind of my fault, and the first time no, was kind of my fault, and I you mean, guys gave me a very light, nice no, speech last fault. time it's not your about fault. how it wasn't my fault, but it feels like this is definitely my fault, so I kind of want to fix it. It's, okay, it's all here. We'll talk to Chester's the head of them. Chester. <laughs> what was what went down in there? <laughs> Does anybody have to speak with animals? Huh? Yeah. Do you? Matt's I mean, okay. I have to speak with these animals. They're my boys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fine. <laughs> Link, what are they saying? So you may remember that when you were in heaven briefly, there was a throne, that an empty mm-hmm. throne that you never investigated in any way. Mm-hmm. Uh, Willie is sat upon the throne and is now in charge of heaven. So he's mm-hmm. basically God. Mm-hmm. And he's got dude at his side. Mm-hmm. And he kicked out all the dolphins oh. and he's corrupted all the angels. So now they're basically doing his bidding. But you're all safe? <laughs> Julia, yes. Julia got out. Julian? Your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Just Julia, my favorite dolphin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Julia got out. Here she is. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> He's told me so much about you. Porpy has. Or Chester. Chester. Chester has. Porpy. Porpy also told me a lot about you. Porpy's yeah. a friend with benefits. <laughs> Things are real weird up here in heaven. Yeah, dolphins don't like they. they yeah, you think dolphins got married? The pods, They're yeah. dolphins. Their marriage is like not like some people's. But not a lot of people. <laughs> Normal's like, why did you look at me when you said that? I, I'm talking to you. I don't know. We're in a five-person okay. no, no. marriage, Link. Oh, yeah. Who are we true. to be throwing judge? No, I'm not throwing judge. I was explaining. I was explaining. I don't judge. I, I've never judged Chester. Oh, I just realized you're all widows and widowers. Yeah, yeah. well, Widows and know. widowers is the sequel to Dungeons & Dragons. Um, okay, okay. So he's God. So he's God. So Willie's God. Do we, Dolph, can you ask but the that, dolphins? Dolphins, it, like... Is he done? Is he okay? Like, is he, is it pretty much over? Like, so as you ask that, a horde of angels arise out of heaven's gates and they spread across the sky. Then armies of angels, hundreds, oh. hundreds of angels spread across the sky and you can see them blink and portals appear in front of their eyes and they go through the portals and you can't tell to where. Normal. But they seemingly armies of angels are, are heading all across the multiverse. And Porpoise goes, no. 
he's going to get rid of anybody who might pose a threat to him. No, I'm done talking to you, Chester. You never gave straight answers. Julia, you, you always you always talk straight. Where's I always talk straight. That's what the, I'm the straight talk express. That's what they call me. <laughs> what happened to the actual big, like, is the other god dead? God left a long time ago. What? We never knew to where. What, who was running the place? Nobody. The inmates were running the asylum. You know, humans were just doing human stuff and we were doing our best oh, okay. to keep but it But like together. the good humans were doing it. Oh no, because we- No, good humans are just sitting around in the spaghetti bathtubs oh, and shit God. and hanging out in their own personal heavens. It's, it's been up to the clerks and all the, you know, the faculty, which is us. We were the ones keeping the, the wheels turning. We were greasing the, the bureaucracy and now we're gone. So it's just going to be whatever the hell Willie feels like doing. So nobody, nobody can get into heaven now because the gates are completely locked. Where are you all going to go? Well, I don't know. Do you mm -hmm. have a place we could crash? I mean, we got like a lot of water below. If you want to just go there, <laughs> I can. <laughs> I can. If we wait here eight hours, I can cast plane shift again and bring we, eight of you back. And I suppose I could just sort of slowly bring back all the dolphins. Or can to we go, Earth. Yeah. Or can we go through like the portals? Like we got to get back to to Taylor and, and Scary. So as you say that, we'll cut back to Taylor and Scary. Hey, Scary, this is just a fact I was just thinking about. Did you know that dolphins don't have gills? So if you name the dolphin Gilly, it makes no sense. Anyway. Well, nobody would ever name a dolphin Gilly. I, I know, mean, I know, I know. That's silly. It's <laughs> silly, Gilly. Fuck me. Okay, we got to find a way to either Where did get... they go? Lark, yeah. spare out. Yes. Yes. Now is the time. This is truly dire situation so sparrow arm is, me with the greatest sword you have so sparrow's coming up to you holding the back of his head which has a big old bump on it because willie knocked him out to take his visage oh um, dude are you okay he goes no i'm not okay my son's missing my son's in heaven now and with the most dangerous man in the world okay uh, you don't have to snap at me like my sorry i'm not it's too. just nervous this runs in the family and this is All how right, i express everyone, anxiety we've officially got it this is henry by the way we've officially got a crisis on our hands so the first thing i'm gonna need you all to do is breathe and oh, is this out? guy fucking serious? <sighs> yes, I am, young hey, lady. Do that, I'm do quite that, serious. Do the exercises. You know, it's, it's important. important to center your juices. Lark goes, Jesus Christ, enough with the breathing. We need to come up with a plan. Yes, I agree. We, may, we can plan once we're able to clear our minds. Thank you, young man. Well, this goes, kid's got a good head on his shoulders. <sighs> Sparrow goes, the mere fact that you said that proves that you don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> well, that's your opinion, and uh, once again, it's wrong, but... Uh, <laughs> I forget whose fault is it that like this guy's out again? Uh, that would be un. It is kind of normal's fault, unfortunately. But I feel like he's going through a lot right now, so we should, you know, we need no, to respect I mean, the journey that normal's on. That was meant to be a dig at you guys because you. I thought you guys killed him, but then you know here he is again. Actually, I guess it's my fault that he's out. So it, it, never mind. Anyways, well, so. we can. It's okay. We all have our part to play in this, and we all have our part to play in fixing it. So I think actually one of the things that Lark was right about is that we should figure out what we're doing. The sky opens up, and a dozen angels with purple. What would you even call them? I lightning strikey bolty things. Sclera with, with purple <laughs> sclera. Wait, that, um, I, wait, sorry, I don't even know why. Yes, the white outer layer. Yeah, it's with with, scler with sclera dyed purple and horrible descend on Oakvale, blinking with horrifying intent. And one of them heads straight for Henry and Ooh. tries to engulf him with its pupil. I cast protection from good and evil. Okay. Covers your bases, really. <laughs> yeah. So the spell ends, one willing creature you touch is protected against certain types of creatures, aberrations, celestials, elementals, Ooh, fey, celestials. fiends, wow. and undead. Okay, so you, you use that on one person? Yeah, I'll, I'll use it on Henry. Okay. The angel tries to absorb Henry through its eye, just like it's absorbed other people. But the second it comes up against Henry, boing, it gets like repelled by some sort of other natural like two force. magnets. Like two One. magnets repelling against yeah. each other. It can't do anything. But two more angels come down and target Lark and Sparrow. And they- Why are they going after you guys? I don't know. That's a good question. Lark and Sparrow are going to roll dexterity to see if they can dodge. All right. So Lark saves, but Sparrow does not. <gasps> so Sparrow gets slurped up into the eye of an angel. And Lark goes- Brother! Um, and holds his, arm, holds his arm out for Sparrow and tries to hold on as hard as he can. But the angel begins to lift up and Lark is still holding on to Sparrow's arm as they begin to lift upward. Okay, can what would I you like to do? do something? Yes. Okay, I need to figure out what I want to do. It's a big angel. It's flying into the air right now? Yeah, the one that has uh, Lark and Sparrow is flying upwards. Oh. Do we get the idea that it's going towards heaven? Yeah, well recognized. I mean, should we just go with it? You know? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I guess this we might could, be our right? transport this in. This is our, yeah. Wait, yes. That's great. All right, everybody, hang on. And I'm going to cast reverse gravity. Oh, what? On uh, everyone. 
Right, well, actually, so this spell reverses gravity in a 50-foot radius, 100-foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. I'm assuming that the, the angel's directly above us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast reverse gravity to yeet us all up to the angel so we can grab onto it. Okay, so that yeets you up to the angel. Go ahead and give me a dexterity roll or athletics or acrobatics to grab onto a uh, lark or the angel itself, one of its eyelashes, potentially. <laughs> Yo, is this Natural one. Oh no, Will, is it a natural it one? It is indeed a natural one. What, do we just witness the death of Henry as he flies <laughs> into space? Yeah, Henry, Henry goes all the way past the angel, <laughs> up and up and up and up until he reaches 100 feet in the air. You know, this is an interesting physics question, because hear, hear me out. He'll reach 100 feet in the air, the momentum that he has from that fall will shoot him straight up, at which point then he'll come to a stop, and then come straight back down. At which point, the gravity will reverse, and he'll just kind of ping-pong back and forth. Oh, right? he, just, he would just go all the way to space. So I can full-on... Well, because it's a 100-foot cylinder, so it so, stops at 100 oh, feet. Yes, oh, so the, but the momentum will pull I him up another exact 100 Oh, yeah, sure. Another so, sorry, feet. what? Yeah, so like if the gravity reversed for you, right? Mm -hmm. You would fall upwards... 100 feet. 100 feet, and that acceleration... Like a like but a then the gun. moment you hit that threshold, gravity now starts pulling down on you, but you're, you know, yeah, so but you're I'm going 100 feet faster. No, well, so, no, you're, yeah, the yeah. acceleration you would get from traveling 100 feet, which mm -hmm. is, you know, 9.8 meters per second per second, uh, but in the other direction. But then you'd be subject to the exact same force. So you just kind of come right back down to where you started. And then you just go back and forth. Like so he doesn't take any falling damage, is what you're well, saying? So I don't think that's, hold on, hold on. The well, spell no, reverses like gravity a video game in a 50 foot or a high cylinder. But all creatures that aren't somehow anchored to the ground fall upward and reach the top of the area. Falling upward or jumping? Is Imagine Matt it's say. like one of those Mario <laughs> levels where they have like the grass. Yeah, 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 what happens? Here's the question. What happens after you go to the top of the cylinder? You don't it doesn't splat. say. No, so one the how, how long does it say the spell lasts? This spell lasts for one minute concentration. Okay. So okay, so here's, here's what I'm saying. Is that you would go up through the 100 foot point. You go past it. And you'd fall, and you'd fall through it again, and you just kind of slowly, you just come to a gentle you stop. Would get, you okay, would get to the top of the invisible cylinder and just kind of float on that boing, boing, no, no, boing. Yeah, yeah, and if you yeah. get sucked up to the top, then you bonk your head, and then no, you're bonked up bonk concussy state, then you can't <laughs> fucking concentrate. My point and, is that you would come right back to where you death. started. And I like that. Fall. With a negative one, I do think it breaks concentration. Okay. So you're going to go 100 feet straight up. Mm -hmm. The momentum's going to carry you another... 50 feet, let's say. Okay. Hold on, I can give you the... Uh, oh, is this how Mercedes died? <laughs> 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 too soon, Matthew, too soon! <laughs> and then you're going to fall 150 feet, and I've looked okay. up fall damage in D&D &D 5e, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it is 1d6 for every 10 feet fallen, so Henry has to roll 15d6, and that's how much damage he takes. Okay, um, before any of that happens, Henry turns into a bird, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, yes! no. What? <laughs> You, that was your turn. You broke your concentration. Yeah, you have to you have, a turn. Turn. I have another this. turn once I'm falling, Anthony. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> a turn is six seconds. You did the whole thing. And now it's, you're falling. Fine. Fine. Well, fine. All right. How much was it? Uh, so it's 15 D6. Dice. Let's let me can save you. Man, I wish Mercedes hadn't drank that charged lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were we talking about that on the podcast? No, no. Oh, no. I'm okay. sorry. It was All right, uh, that's 49 damage. Not no, too bad. You're fine. Yeah, it's fine. He's like level 20, right? All right, Henry crashes straight back <laughs> into the ground and says, "Well, I'm out of ideas, boys." <laughs> so the angels continue to float upward with Lark and Sparrow. Should have turned. Wait, I cast it in an area though. Yeah. Did the you, idea did was Did you want it to affect would, everybody? Yeah, because it was like all everyone's going to crap on. It was gonna okay. Crap. Everybody yeah, can try, but if you fail, up. you're all going to take 15 d6 damage. What? <laughs> <Frick>. <laughs> What? Okay, so what am I rolling? So you're rolling dexterity, acrobatics, or athletics to All see right. if you can grab onto Lark as you are rocketed upwards. 10 plus 13, 23. Okay, you're fine. You grab onto Lark's ankle very easily. I even do a cool flip with the 23, I bet. Sure, I why bet. not? I bet. <laughs> you should have to no, roll again for the flip. No. I know. I'm sick. I'm sick of the blade poses and the flips and all of the unchallenged style. Natural and one. I'm mad. Natural one no. on the flip. <laughs> I hurt Lark. I break his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you break Lark's ankle as you try to you rip his shoe and off and, and, and pull his ankle way, out of its and, socket. And then the upper part of his body is inside the angel's eye, right? Yeah. So you just hear. Oh no, that's a uh, sparrow is up there. Oh, okay. Well, who was Lark up there? Lark, Lark's Lark is holding onto his arm, right. which is like barely out it's of like the people. Of the, the... Oh, I see. <laughs> I got an eight. Okay, oh. so with an eight, you're gonna fall <laughs> down just like Henry did, and you're gonna take fifteen d six damage. Okay. Wait, kid. <laughs> Can, can, shit. Can, Freddy, do you have any way to like help somebody like with reaction? Now, to be fair, like they have not done anything. 
Yeah, they haven't, you haven't taken your actions yeah, yet. Yeah, so I feel like they should get a chance to do something. Yeah, to I'm going to say that trying to grab onto Lark or Sparrow is not a full action. I'll say that's a bonus action. So you still have your full action to take. I feel like one of you must have like a deck savey type like Ooh, reaction. Thinking. There's one very memorable spell that we've talked about a lot that would probably help a lot. Is it darkness? No. <laughs> Oh, I can just yell loud? really loudly. <laughs> and then, like, hey, hang on! <laughs> Jump farther! <laughs> Jump higher, scary! Uh, oh, I know which spell he's talking about. He's talking about spider climb. I am. But yeah. Spiders can't fly in the air. I, I used up my fucking spell slots. <laughs> I literally only have one spell I can use, and it's Circle of Death. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy, you have nothing? I have nothing. I could set something on fire with hellish rebuke. You, you know what I'll say? I'll give you the option. If you let go of Lark, yeah. you can grab onto Scary, and then it'll have the damage between both of you instead of all of it hitting a Scary. But these angels are heading back to heaven. Yeah. So supposedly, Scary, and they want to get back to heaven. Yeah, so I go, Scary! <laughs> I'll see you in heaven! <laughs> All right, so um, go ahead and roll 15d6, I guess, Beth. They're like, they're like a belt or something. Oh, since he um, grabbed Dunk, can he try to grab her? That's what I was going to say. Like, oh, if yeah. he could... <laughs> <laughs> at least try you to... Can, you like, can let go, try to grab her, and then take oh, the... Oh, no, 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 like, can, like, you know, if you were He's hanging on... One he, hand. If he hadn't done a natural one on his oh, flip, God. he would have been Freddy, able to... Freddie, why do you have to flip? <laughs> Will, why do you have to get mad at him for flipping? Hey. Man, shut up. <laughs> why wouldn't why would Nathan let me turn into a bird? <laughs> I say no once in six years of podcasting, and this is what happens. Uh, so wait, is my is my I, you have to roll fifteen d six? I roll fifteen d six. Okay. Um, roll a die. Forty four damage. Okay, cool. So what does that do to you? It damaged me forty four. <laughs> Fair enough. But you're not dead. I'm not dead. Okay. I'm okay. We're on fire right now, dude. This is that fucking season one heat. You know what I mean? I've come around on Dungeons and Daddy's nights. The chemistry. The fucking riffs. We're on fire, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. Okay, Scary's so like, ow. And he's like, well, lady, young lady, it looks like it's just you and me on this side of the adventure. The uh, angel goes upward with Lark, Sparrow, and Taylor hanging on to it. It you opens. Guys a, see me flip? That's the last thing you hear as it opens a portal and then goes through the God portal. God damn it! And wait, and I didn't even take my other action that I had. What were you gonna do? You said you'll answer circle know. death. I don't have any spells. I was gonna think of something. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll come back and get you. Um, um, um. Okay, so back in heaven. <laughs> You see several portals coming from hell, and you see a bunch of angels leaving hell, flying a little bit lower to the ground than they did when they were flying away. And you can also see one open up from Old Earth, specifically Oakvale, and you see Lark and Sparrow and Taylor dangling from the sky. <gasps> so I'm going to have the angel rolled and see if it notices you, Taylor specifically. Oh, that he's hanging on. Yeah, that he's got a little boogie. <laughs> And, and Lark, right? Two boogies. Yeah, he's got two boogies. Okay, so he rolled 12, which I'm going to say is enough that he can tell he's got boogies coming out of his eye. Um, <laughs> I got boogies on my six. <laughs> before it hovers over the gates of heaven, past the gates of heaven, it's going to try to shake itself back and forth to, like, throw you off. All right, so it's going to get 11, which means that Lark has to hold on, and he got a two. So Lark loses his grip for a second, and that's enough time for Lark and Taylor to plummet down towards the clouds that surround heaven. Do I have any reaction? I was reactions? like plumbing towards us? Yeah, I'll say you get one reaction. Yeah, they're plummeting towards you. Yeah, I'm so pissed that normal doesn't have reverse gravity. That'd be so <laughs> fucking funny. Yeah, I was thinking I could use my cunning action where I can take a bonus action to hide and I want to hide inside. <laughs> could you do like can a I... Naruto run up Link? Do you know like in the movies when like the really yeah, they're spry falling guy, and then I can like, like run. runs up yeah, the guy? I'd like okay. to use, I'd like to use. It would be a very difficult acrobatic wait, 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 check. Wait, 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 wait. I'm on the I ground. want to use Lark. I want to catch you like a sweet prince. Uh, but Lark, you might catch Lark instead. Lark is falling, right? I Lark don't care about Lark. Lark. <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> okay, but okay. But you're I'm falling, not you, are fall, Lark. you are falling because I want you to were use, attached okay, to Lark. But as he falls, I want to climb up his body. Like a like a devil ladder, may cry style, like devil may cry style, and grab. Okay, as I said, it's going to be a difficult okay. acrobatics check. So go ahead and roll. Hey, <laughs> thank you for the sound. Nine effect. plus thirteen, twenty-two. Wow, that's a big number. I, All think. Right, I guess you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say twenty, and then it turns out twenty-two is higher than twenty. So you manage to successfully climb up Lark and jump and hold on to Sparrow's outstretched arm. Lark, see you in heaven. Uh, <laughs> 
So Lark plummets towards. Link, Link was like going away for Taylor, and then he sees Taylor get up there, and Link just goes, ah, and just turns away. And Lark ended <laughs> <laughs> under the cows. So now normal Lark and. So you split the party in a different way now. Mm, so there's a three way <laughs> split now. Yeah. Taylor, jump down. What are you doing up there? The angel's taking me to heaven. Like into heaven. Yeah. Into yeah. Heaven. It is it's now, going it is now, is go. now going into heaven, over heaven, and it is going to descend into heaven. And I'm just holding onto a hand. You were just holding onto Sparrow's hand. Do you think Sparrow noticed that the hand changed? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think your hand is probably smaller and, and more greasy than Lark's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sparrow felt Lark let go. He's like, no, Lark, don't let go. And then he got another hand. He's like, ooh, ooh, good. You good, got it I back. Caught, I caught <laughs> him. I caught yeah, him. yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he thinks. Okay, good, um, good, good. We're it's scary. Like Parker saving uh, Gwen Stacy. He's like, I did it. I got him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uncle Lark. I rush up to Lark. Lark gets to his feet. He goes, normal. You're Are, okay. You're okay. You're we're, okay. You're okay. We're, we're okay. scary. You're we're okay. scary. Okay, good. We're scary. Uh, Where's back. Henry? Where's Dad? They're back on Oakvale. Why did you take Scary? I didn't have much of a choice. I went after Sparrow. I tried to save Sparrow. <gasps> tried to save Sparrow. You, you, Wait, you Sparrow's dad's kid. in that eyeball? No, no. Dad's back in Oakvale. My dad, not your yeah. dad. Yes, your dad is in that eyeball. Okay, okay, all right. Okay. Well, okay, so you just what's happening down there? You just left a kid down there. What was his name? Clementine. It wasn't Clementine. The dolphin. See name? Um. Oh, Chester. 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 Thank Come you. on. So Come Chester. On. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Sorry that I'm not in a studied student of your fucking dolphin deep lore. Your fucking okay. Warhammer 40k wiki level Chester. web Chester of relationships Jerry. between Chester and his wife Lydia and their polyamorous Julia. friend Borby. <laughs> fucking disrespect to the fucking king and queen of the heaven dolphins. Hey, Anthony, this is like rolling a D6 in a D&D themed porno, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you got me. You got me. Chester goes, gah, 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 which translates to you, Link, as this is what I said was going to happen. Willie is trying to get rid of all the people who might pose a threat to him. Okay, well, wait, so how, why did, why is he bringing Taylor in there? <laughs> <laughs> Lark's like, Taylor just jumped up and joined us. I don't think they were going for Taylor. I don't think. Okay. Wait, this is a classic. This uh -huh. is a really bad, right? This is just like when the lacrosse team was like, we're going to steal signs from all the other lacrosse teams. We're going to learn all their moves, right? But then like, it didn't work because all they did was piss off all the other teams and then everyone had it out for us. All Willie is doing right now is bringing everyone that has a grudge against Willie closer to him, which means everyone we need to help stop Willie, and I point dramatically to heaven, is on the other side of those gates. Okay, well, who's that? You know what huh? else is on the other side of those gates? Huh? huh? The products and services that we offer to our Fuck. Taylor, what are you going to do? So are we in heaven now? The eye is descending into heaven. Okay, so obviously I'm going to, I'm looking for, because we're moving, I'm looking for a place I can like drop off, do a good like roll and like Taylor got himself out. into like a fucking Melgar solid mission in heaven <laughs> by himself. <laughs> <is> so upsetting. <laughs> so as you descend, you see that you're descending near the throne of God, which Willie is currently sitting on. And to his right is dude chained up in the collar. <gasps> and to his left is your mom, Cassandra, who is just on her knees uh, like, looking. Like Leia. Wait, like yeah, kind of Leia. Oh. Not, not like sexually like that. She's no, not in a bikini. I'm, saying, She's I'm, like, I'm talking about the, the, the poster. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, I, can I see if there's a way for us to talk to? If you have a message or something, I'm sure you can. Well, can yeah, I, you can, can text me. Can I propose my idea of how we Please talk? Please do. Normal. I think we can talk to, to Taylor. Yeah, what do you think? What, well, how? Because we're, we're married and love lasts all the way to death. So if we sit down and pray and talk to our spouse, uh, I think they'll hear us. I didn't believe in this, but this is what Uncle Daryl. Don't was, we have like a walkie-talkie? I think we have no, a walkie that, that We left that in hell. <laughs> okay. I kneel down and I go, dear sweet Taylor, my husband, if you could hear me, give me a sign. Roll a d20. <laughs> <laughs> At 12. So... You hear the voice of Willie inside your head go like, I'm God now. <laughs> you just prayed to me, idiot. Oh, shit. This is why I didn't send any angels for you, because you guys are <laughs> chuckle fucks. We're coming. We're going to kill you. Uh-huh. Click. <laughs> Don't so, do that. It, you can talk to Willie if you do that. Normally. Oh, you do? Yeah. Dear Willie, frick you, man. Frick off. P.S. You suck and stink and are bad, and I don't like you very much, and I don't respect you. The following God's voice mailbox is full. <laughs> no! <laughs>
Oh, damn. Could God create a mailbox so small even he couldn't check it? Yeah, yeah. Back to Metal Gear Solid, sorry. Yes, back to Taylor. So as you descend, you see... Hold on, so just a quick question. So when you get up into heaven... Sorry, this is a little bit of heaven lore that I'm trying to just Mm -hmm. understand. A little Christ talk. I don't think that has anything to do with... Your name, Christ has nothing to do with what's happening now, Freddie. Okay, but like your name is like recorded somewhere, right? Like, Yes, that's what all the dolphins were taking care of in the paperwork ocean. Okay, here's my idea. I'm just going to say my idea here really quick. I'd like to make a soft landing in the paperwork ocean. Okay, go ahead and roll roll acrobatics. At all, you know. Okay, so you're going to try to avoid getting You're going to have to perform a halo jump to get into the soft paperwork (laughs) ocean. Oh, do you remember that last time we had talked, Link told you all that Chester had talked about how there's a passage from the paper area straight to the throne room so that he could give messages to God. I mean, that is the way I designed the map, so it's not cheating. Hell yeah, I called it. Okay, you know, there's like, there are a lot of videos coming out now of like divers from China who are really good at diving. This is a natural 20 plus 13. 30. You got a natural 20? Ooh. Natural 20 on this acrobatic. Wow. Hole. Okay, yeah. So describe what happens. So I go, <laughs> and I do the, basically the dive from GoldenEye from the, oh, yeah. <laughs> off the okay. dam, off the dam. <laughs> and then when I go into the water, it's just like a single piece of paper. It just goes. <laughs> yeah, so you are completely unseen by any of the angels that are coming in. <laughs> you drown. Uh, and you are within the ocean of paperwork. <laughs> Now, here's my question. What would I need to roll slash is my 20 good enough to get me? I want to find my name. <laughs> uh, of course. It's literally an ocean. So it's yeah, like yeah. the size of, you know, the Pacific Ocean. It would take you some time to find your name. It would take at least a couple of perfect natural 20 rolls. Okay, okay. So like way, way out, out of line here. Yeah. If you had an unlimited amount of time and way more yeah, people, yeah, you I have to name. know why you want to dolphins. find your name, though. I have to know. Yeah, so there's no dolphins here, though, right? No, there's no dolphins to help you. They all got kicked out. If there were dolphins here, they could find it easily. With echolocation. Ah. Uh, nice. Wait, okay, I will say, I don't know how we'd make this work, I don't, but I have a spell called Locate Object. <gasps> but I'm on the other side. You're on the wrong side. But, but wait, 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 wait. Before you, you pray help to them. me, if you pray, Willie will hear what you say. Well, well, before you help him, <laughs> before you help him, find out what it is he's trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> You've played this long enough. I, I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> just, no, I wanted, trust Freddy. I, I feel bad because no. I made him fucking roll for that flip and it ruined everything. So like, I it didn't ruin everything. He's no, in heaven he's now. Yeah. He's in heaven. Oh, wait, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's fuck all, you, Freddy. He's like, what made Here's it? Here's my thought. The bracelet says, listen to whatever Willie Stampler says. Mm-hmm. If I found my name in heaven's log books and changed it to Willie Stampler, I could give commands to dude. How I, would you... Then never mind. How would I change my name in the books of heaven? I figure I cross it out. I put a new name in and I initial it like a legal document. I would make you roll Arcana for it, but I like that idea. Yeah, okay. You have to get confirmed. <laughs> it's got to be notarized. You have to change your confirmation. That's again. fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well, yeah, you yeah. throw hoops in front of you, but this is just, this okay. is what I'm thinking, which okay. is like, hey, that's a loophole. You know what I'm saying? I like the, the game. Loophole. Respect the game. That was, that was, Wait, that was is idea. Willie Stampler rounding up every other guy named Willie Stampler? Oh, yeah. Dude, it's like the one, yeah. dude. like King Herod? <laughs> yeah. Every other Willie Stampler has been so... <laughs> It's off screen, so you're not knowing what's happening. But yes, there is a plan for every other Willie Stampler. Your parents that are dead. Made sure to get rid of them. <laughs> this is a guy being like, you want a ticket for, oh, God. Oh, God. Like, oh, and an, I, an angel just sucks him up right in front of him. Oh, his family's crying and shit. God. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Stampler, it's been three days. You have to put some name on this baby's birth certificate. <laughs> well, honey, we should name it out here. My dad or your dad. Let's do your dad, babe. Willie Stampler. <laughs> my baby. Oh, no. no. There's one guy who goes like, but so I know my bill. All right. So how long does protection for good and evil last? Con- up to 10 minutes. Concentration. Okay, so I think we should cut back to you and Henry for a minute just because yeah. Henry has 10 minutes to figure out what to do before this thing is going to absorb him anyway. Okay, well, uh, my grandson and both my sons are in heaven right now. Young lady, I always like to hear... And Henry just kind of sits down on the ground next to you, and he's like, I always like to hear what the younger generation thinks. Oh, my know? God. You know, what do you think we should do? Okay, well, you know, normally I don't really care what olds think, but, like, <laughs> how did you kill this guy? Oh, Willie. Well, we kind of didn't. I mean, he was like, we tricked him, and we put him in a little room, and we closed the door. Mm-hmm. It was sort of the most peaceful way of doing it, you know? And it, it worked for a really long time. I don't know who let him out, though. Uh, yeah, about that. Uh, maybe you should have killed him, is, is, uh, is my point there. Mm, okay, well, that's very wise, you know? Well, I don't know if it's wise. I think, you know, I'm, again, I it's try very to, based of you. It's very, <laughs> it's either based or cringed. I don't know which one that is. Cringed? It's either cringed or it's based. So, all right, okay, well, let's see what we have. 
at our disposal. I got about 10 minutes here until that thing comes back for me. So we should figure out a way to get you, young lady, up there with your friends. I mean, if those angels are doing Willie's bidding, maybe we can just ask him. Ask him what? Well, I have this, like, hat, and he told me not to contact him anymore with it, but I used to be kind of, like, you know, connected to him or whatever. So, mm -hmm. like, I could just be like, take me to heaven, and maybe he'll say yes. Ah, that seems... So, like, to take you into heaven, to take you... Okay, I don't... Mm, I don't love that plan, I gotta say. It seems risky, but I guess we're in a pretty risky situation. Yeah, I guess it might be worth a try, and then maybe... You get the rest of, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what we should do. Mm. Hey, Dad, what do you think we should do? <laughs> oh, you're quite the pickle, aren't you, son? Well, if I was you, I probably would have killed him, as you've mentioned before. Scary, so good hindsight on that there. I think if you tried to talk to him in your sleep, probably nothing bad would happen. It's not like he can, like, psychically control you or whatever, because he would have done that before if he had the opportunity. So you, oh. could, you can at least try to talk to him if you think you can convince him of something. But I don't know. The first thing you probably need to do is regroup with your friends because, you know, a house divided against itself cannot stand. I made that up. I was um, on the side. Henry, cell. by the way, I want to roll an insight check on Barry because I noticed something last mm -hmm. episode and I want to see if I'm right. That's a 13. So with the 13, you can tell that he is still under the control of the I said it was a bracelet. I was wrong. It was an earrings. I forgot mm. that you put earrings into him that basically said that he can't. It was a very detailed and uh, loophole. Yes, the whole timey wimey bracelet proof thing. Yeah. thing. So he, he is still honor bound to go by that, but he is bumping right up against the boundaries of what he can get away with uh, in terms of what he considers to be helpful. Sending you back in time to see Code Purple, he considered to be helpful to your relationship as a family, mm -hmm. for example. Oh, this is too meta. I noticed something, but I don't think Henry noticed it. So I don't know if I can say it or not. Well, what is that character? I was reviewing the game tape, and every time we were talking to Barry, Anthony would say, that man with the long beard. But he never said that it was Barry. So I, I feel like there might be a switcheroo going on there, but I don't know how to probe this out. Uh, there's not a switcheroo. Okay, all right. But I like the I like what you're thinking. I'm gonna roll an insight on Anthony. Anthony, if he's lying. Nice. Got it. Eleven. So um, if we do nothing, the angels are going to take Henry into heaven. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's good. And then I'll just hold be on. Be by yourself, milk man. And I'll just be by myself uh, here uh, talking to myself. Uh. <laughs> that's true, young lady. I can bring you into heaven. You know, that's probably the best way. We could kind of do what they did. Do you have like a spell or anything that could help you like be attached to me? No, but I have these, um, sometimes I play backup keeper, so I have these gloves that are pretty adhesive. Okay, okay, we can work with that. We can work with that. And we'll use some sap from that tree. And I run over to get the stickiest sap I can find from a tree so that Scary can glue her hands to Henry's Birkenstocks so that she can go to heaven with Henry. That can happen. Uh, I would also like to remind you that you have items that you got in the past from Daddy's HQ, at least one of which I think could probably be helpful at this point. Okay, what was the item? What was it? <laughs> Who remembers? <laughs> that, I'm the last person the to look sword. at. There, oh, the was, there was the Lego sword? There was. Oh shit, the Le we left the Lego sword. <laughs> oh, the boots. What are the boots? The boots of levitation. Oh, well, gee whiz, that would have been helpful oh. about five minutes ago. <laughs> what size see, are they? I also see we have Zine of Truth. Ask Anthony to explain, please. <laughs> that was your note? Oh, that was your note? <laughs> yeah, that's what I wrote down, yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, well, yeah, put the boot on. Okay, I put them on. I suit up. Um, okay. I guess we're just going to wait. <laughs> For the angel. Man, this is pulse pounding Dungeons and Dragons. The angel is just staring at you, blinking slowly <laughs> for nine minutes and 59 seconds. So, I'm Willie blinking. is trying to get people that he feels threatened by to heaven? Yeah. I guess Taylor can see this from where he is. Taylor, you There's see. There's a big TV of the thing. Cut room. back. It's like, you know what it is? It's like in the operas or like plays, they have the TV in the lobby. Mm -hmm. They probably have a throw. You know what I'm saying? If you're a guy, you have like big Yeah, throw. he wants everybody to see what he's doing. Yeah. So, you can see that he's got. Grant, Wilson, <gasps> Terry, Jr., now Sparrow, and then your mom, who's separate from them. But you can see him saying some, some stuff you can't make out. It's definitely smarmy. It's shitty. And he Taylor looks to the right at the sign language interpreter who is doing the feed of the video. So the sign language interpreter says, so here's what he's saying. You guys almost got me and your parents almost got me. So I'm just going to make sure that you can't ever do that ever again. So 
I'm going to be nice about it, though, because I could just send you straight to hell. I could turn you into nothing. I could do whatever the fuck I want with dude here by my side. I could turn you into atoms. But instead, I'm going to do for you what you and your parents did for me. Uh, several doors appear behind your parents, just like the doors that people's personal heavens are made out of. Uh, and they open up, and inside there is just a little four-by-four four cell, almost exactly like the demiplane that Willie was thrown into. And Willie nods at dude, and dude lashes out with his tentacles and slaps them all into their respective demiplane prison cells and closes the doors and locks them. And then the doors go back down into the clouds and disappear. I want to roll just real quick insight on what's my mom. Okay, go ahead and roll insight. I squint hard at my mom. Natural one. <laughs> I squint so hard that I give myself astigmatism. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, you squint so hard that the sign language interpreter dies and now you can't tell what else is happening in the conversation. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Shit. That does mean you kill people by squinting at them. No. Cool. Yeah, if you get another, if you ever Shit. want to look at number somebody and you get a natural one, you will be able to kill them. <laughs> I'll say that for the rest of the fucking campaign. Okay. Shit. All right. That's good. Okay. So back on, this is just like the end of Phantom Menace, dude, just leaping around from one plot. Wait, to wait, the wait. End. what is Taylor going to do? Well, yeah, so, okay, let's, so you let's go back to Henry and Beth real quick. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Young lady. So I think what we should do is, because we don't know where, well, actually, you know what? Could you? Yeah. Yeah. This could work. I think you should go talk to this Willie guy because then we can figure out what he's doing and where everybody's going. And then we'll know if we're walking in. I, I don't know. Like, do you know what I mean? Scary puts on the sleeping cap. You fall asleep and instantly see Willie Stampler with his back to you. And he like turns around like, what? Oh, uh, you heard about what I'm doing and you're going to try to talk me out of it or blah, blah, blah. What's, what's up? No, go ahead, I, would go, go ahead. I would never do that. I just feel kind of like left out of the master plan. You know, I know we had our differences in the past, but I'm ready to be truly evil and um, get this thing started. And and, you know, what's uh, what's weird um, is if if you really considered me a, a good henchman, I, I think uh, you would have had me up there with you. So I just feel like, damn, I really let you down and I want to prove myself. Roll deception with, I'm going to say disadvantage, because you've done a lot to show that you were against <laughs> Willie by this point. Ten. Yes, yeah, so with the ten, he saunters up to you and kneels, and he goes, you really were something special, Scary. You reminded me a lot of myself when I was younger. You know, you, you were driven, you didn't care about other people, and uh, you were smart. But that came to an end the second that you decided to stand against me and with your dumbass friends. And mm. you were a real, real disappointment. You broke my heart, kid. But oh. um, let me just say, with all the love in my heart, you are never getting to heaven. Willie Stampler forever. 20, 2010. <laughs> Fucking peace out. You know, it's weird because you're talking about the love in your heart, but I don't think you love anyone. So, like, how come you're so obsessed with love? Like, oh. with people loving you, like Ron, Terry, me. Like, all you want is someone to worship you. And like, I would know because I've been there, you know, but I think if I remind you of, you know, you, maybe you just want some attention. <laughs> I mean, yeah, love or whatever. And, and I, I'm sorry that y you want that attention. I'm sorry you thought you could get it, you know, because you're truly despicable and ghoulish and a worthless oh, piece of fried garbage. Oh, no, and so I can't despicable. wait for my friends and I to kill you. Good luck. And he snaps his fingers and you wake up. Quick question. <laughs> Henry's gone. <laughs> he got sucked up, I think. Not. <laughs> <laughs> now here I am uh, by myself, uh, talking to myself. Um. Quick question, quick question. During that, what did I see? What is happening in this side? His of the eyes rolled back into his head. Okay, so he just stands there and like kind of is like, mm -hmm. okay. He, he goes into nice. a trance state. <gasps> okay. So Ooh. he's like actually <gasps> still then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so we know a crucial piece of information. So just keep the hat on at all times. Is that what you're saying, Anthony? I'm saying he can... Probably well, yeah, choose whether or not, you know, he yeah, wants true. to go see Scary. Still, good to know. But yeah, it's definitely an option if you could find a way to do something okay, in the cool, dream cool, world. Cool, cool, cool. So, protection from good and evil wears off. The angel, who's been very patiently waiting by you, goes <laughs> yeah, over to Henry. like drooling, but it's like tears, dude. Yeah. Damn. Dude. Fucking foaming at the mouth, ready to absorb this boy. Uh, Henry, I can't say the conversation went really well. Oh, <laughs> that's too bad. That's okay. You tried your best, though. You know? Slorp. The uh, <laughs> angel absorbs Henry into its iris and starts moving upward. Scary's hand is, I'm going to say with the 10 minutes you had, you don't even have to roll for it. Like you, you really did sap yourself to his feet and the boots of levitation. His shoes, Henry's feet. You don't want to <laughs> get anywhere. Yeah, near I'd probably no, roll, no, roll some damage for that. No glue can actually adhere to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. 
Uh, so yeah, you you ascend up into heaven and He's like uh, a duck, just oil <laughs> everywhere. So as I I you made watch Taylor water do beat up on it like Rain <laughs> yeah. on a windshield. As I made Taylor do, once the angel goes back through a portal to heaven, it's gonna note maybe notice that it has a boogie on itself and it's gonna roll. Got a natural one, so it has no idea that it has a boogie attached to it. It was so thrown off Henry. by the fact that I had to wait ten human <laughs> minutes for this guy. Yeah. And also the person holding onto him is completely weightless because of the boots of levitation. So oh, um, nice. the angel heads over heaven. Scary. Ta- yes, yeah, so you can now see ta- them all. Oh ta- Taylor made it to the other side. Scary! Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. here. I'm here. I start waving. Scary! Do I see them? Yeah. Yeah, I see, I see you. Are you so, going to come down? Are you going in? What, yeah, what are you doing? We're yeah, down you, here. We're on the other side. You're going to go. You if you go over there, that's where Taylor is, and he's doing something, and if you come down here, we don't um, have any ideas. Um, Which way, grab Western onto me, Grab onto me, and we can try to get into the gates. You're currently too high up for them to like, still easily to jump at you. I tried to shake off one of the boots of levitation. Oh. Okay, so that'll make you get heavier and pull the eye down a little bit, but you're still half you know, supported by the boots and like, you're not heavy enough to completely like these eyes are big. So you'd have to be even heavier than just your normal self to drag this thing down to the ground. Cause I said that previously it could hold Lark and Sparrow and Taylor and it wasn't like dragging yeah. itself along the ground or anything. Can we catch it? Well, you, could drop, yeah. you could drop both boots. Oh, I could. Yeah. Sure. I sh- and I- if you remember, wait, who back in the day in Papa John's land, was it Lincoln normal that was zooming around? Not a cool rocket boot. That's right. So we have, we, we have. know, we know, we, this is You're like, muscle, dude. like muscle memory. <laughs> so Link wants to grab the boots. Okay. So the boot falls on the outside can of that. Yeah, I, sh- I, I shake both to, off. I shake both boots off. Can so. I roll to see if I do something cool when I get the boots? Yeah, go ahead. Acrobatics. Can I do athletics? Sure. <laughs> That's a 14. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Dude, I, I, describe I grab, something pretty cool. Yeah, I, way I, to go, I, Matt. I grab them and I put them on. I don't even have to like do that thing where I fix the back of them. They just really slipped on nice and easy. Oh, that's good. That's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Oh, <laughs> the rush. <laughs> the rush. Incredible. Cool. <sighs> okay. Right, uh, normal, hang on. It's just like just like before. You think of what I'm thinking? Uh, yeah, just like that place with all that cheese. That was crazy. Yeah. And yeah, yet, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Isn't that when you started your mustache? <gasps> don't remind me. Why? It's, 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 too, look, it's gone. It, it can come back. It's gone. That's what they do. No, it's gone. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> Wait, Lark's here too. Yeah, well, whatever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's my uncle, you bitch. Come on. <laughs> we can't get all of us. You go straight to hell. <laughs> no. No, we're levitating, Anthony. We're on levitation boots now. Those are rules in hell. We Anytime somebody, someone yeah. says the word bitch, yeah. like they just eat to hell. No, they don't really. No. Um, but if you're in hell If you already, thought that was sufficiently funny, then it would have happened, but you, nobody seemed to laugh at that. All right, I it was just too sad. I was like, we've gone so far, and yet so not far. <laughs> but in the end. <laughs> all right, I guess, sure, Mr. Lark. Is there a way you can? I, I just guess. hop on, Uncle. All right, I'll do my best. And then he holds on to you guys. Wait, as should we give him one boot, and then we can travel with the other boot? No, I'm not giving him a boot. <laughs> <laughs> what if Link puts on the boots and then normal and mm, Lark okay, hold Link on put to on the a boot, the boots? And then he got his other foot and put on the other boot. <laughs> so yeah, they're each holding on to one of your boots. Now remember the boots of levitation. I would encourage you to look at the description. On, no, because then they won't work the way I want. Them no, to they work. don't because they're not. They, they don't allow you to keep moving. You have to be able to, like, anchor yourself to something. It's, it's like being in the middle of a space station like we were talking about. Yes, like, how high can they go? Yes, they levitate. They're not flying, so they levitate yes. some amount over something. Scary's, like, holding out her hands, like, come on, grab on. Yes, once we find out how high these go, I swear these are, like, <gasps> oh, six Oh, do you know it's going to be, like, well, we, here's what we need. We it's going like to be, a, like, six feet high. We need, like, <laughs> I know it. I know these boots are like six feet high. <laughs> I fucking remember. They're not that good. If I remember. Yeah, in your head, you Up got to 20 feet. 20 yeah. <laughs> in your head, you wanted Iron Man, dog. You got Copper Boy. <laughs> how, how high up is Scary? Scary is like 20 feet. <laughs> Scary is like 100 feet in the air at okay, least. Okay. okay. I, get, so I go like, up 20 to feet. To the wind. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I thought I could go higher. Oh God! How are you guys Let me try harder. Oh, are you guys wait like a second! Piggyback, piggyback? God, I can't do this. I can't even fly these boots right. No, you do great. No. I be- no. Wait a second! I have an idea. What? If okay, hear me out. If Link is wearing the boots, and then I climb up Link, <laughs> and Link hands me a boot. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? I like, see what you're trying to do, like, yes. It's still 20. <laughs> There's three of us. Can we, like, do a ladder into the sky by trading the boots? Yes. Uh, you're going to have to do a bunch of rolls for it. Okay, okay. 
All right, Link, we've got a what? chance. There's no chance. We can't do anything, man. No, Link. I'm a fan. I can't wrong? do it. What? What? What's your plan? What? You're just like Link. Hey, look, Link. What? Give me an L. A what? Give me an L, bro. An L. You've had enough L's. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you one L. of mine. L. Give me an I. I. Give me an N. N. K. Give. K. Say your name. Yeah, that's my. I'm Link. <laughs> Are I'm, you inspired now, Link? Come no, on. I'm You're not, the number one star striker on our team. I know it's been tough lately, but you gotta get your hands. No, I'll do whatever you want to do. Just what do you want to do? I roll to inspire Link. Okay. Persuasion. I roll not to be inspired. <laughs> I got a 19. What do I roll? I feel like you guys are opposing. it's a wisdom saving throw. Okay. I got a 23. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, you do not inspire Link. You're almost like, Link, don't you realize this is you like... You don't need me to You're the care. foot king, Link. Yeah, you're I, the foot king. Oh, you know who's been buying all your talk. foot art? It's me. <gasps> no, you know who's no. been sending you oh those messages God. telling you you should keep it up and you're really great at foot art and I love it so much? You and sent those messages? I sent those messages because I believe you. In sent you sent those messages? <laughs> The ones that were telling me to keep it up? <laughs> yeah. The ones that were like, hey, you should put more feet and stuff. And you should like maybe like, okay. I don't know, put feet in ice cream. Look, okay. Fine. I don't know. Ice cream's really fun online. Normal, I want to look. People, let's go to Gatorade. Normal, um, like sheet cakes. Normal, I'll do. Just don't try to make me. Diff, like, it's fine. Like, I can't. Like, let's just do your plan. Okay, but okay, we'll I, let's check in on this later. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to see if I can, like, weigh myself down more by casting mage armor on myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, like, bring down the, the eye a little bit to maybe 20 feet. This is, like, this is, like, the wildest, like, physics equation question. It's like, your friend is flying 100 feet in the air at a rate of We've roll. Never worked give me, so give me hard. a straight d20 roll. Okay. A 13. So you rolled a 13, which means you're going to go down to 50 feet, let's say. Okay. So we so have to close 30 feet. You have to close 30 feet by alternately And how many giving... rounds do we have to do this? Because Scary's coming towards us, right? Yeah, Scary's going towards you and he's going to go past you into heaven, essentially. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say... So this is like a skyhook situation. It's very yeah. much like a skyhook, yeah. Essentially, it feels like you won... Sorry, I don't care. You should make it divisible by 20. And then it should just be how many times we have to do... Because each time we do, we can essentially go up 20 more feet. So it should just be some oh, number yeah, yeah, of yeah. times we have to flip-flop each okay. other. So Scary rolled a 13, which means she's going to descend all the way from 100 feet down to 60 feet. So okay. if you can successfully do your levitation <laughs> chain three times, okay. you will be able to grab on her. <sighs> okay. All right. So Normal's up first because he's... So, so I'm, I got to hand I'm gonna, you... I'm going I'm to tell you what the rolls are so you don't <laughs> think I'm bullshitting anything okay. from now on. Okay. So what you're going to have to do is, first, the person who's giving the boot to the other person has to roll a acrobatics check to keep their balance on just one levitation boot. Okay. Then the person taking the boot has to roll athletics or acrobatics to climb up the other person, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to also have to then make a dexterity. dexterity check to grab the other person. Three rolls per flippy flop. Per flippy flop, three rolls, yes. And what number are we trying to hit each time? You're trying to hit, let's say, 13. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I got to do acrobatics first. Well, first, since I'm touching both Lark and Link. Link. <laughs> the names are similar. Uh, hey, you guys have similar names. You ever think about that? Sorry, I would pay yeah, attention. I've never, nope. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm going to cast Guidance on Lark and Link so that they can add a D4 roll to uh, one ability check of their choice. Okay. So I will go first. Actually, well, no, I you have need to do to go acrobatics, first. yeah. I got a 13. Okay. Great. Great. I awkwardly pull off my shoe, one shoe, and I hand it to you. Okay. And now I have to Good. climb up him, right? Yes. Okay. <sighs> okay. That's a four. So you fall off of a link. Ah! <laughs> You've still got one boot on, right? No, because you said I put the boot on at the end. Right, I did. Can I make a midair acrobatics roll to put the boot on? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So we're just flying next to each other at 20 feet. <laughs> All right, that's a 10. Okay, so with a 10, I'll say that, yeah, you were now just both <laughs> next to each other, 20 feet, balancing on one foot <laughs> awkwardly. Meanwhile, Lark is, like, going to have to roll us. to hold on while all this bullshit is happening. Normal, if you just wanted a boot, you could just ask for a boot. You got a 10, which I'm going to say is not good enough. So he goes, well, and lets go of you and falls ah! the way back down to uh, the ground outside heaven. All right. So, well, so he goes, okay. you know what? Just go, go. You can do this. Go. All right, all right. I believe. Hey, right, yeah. Normal. Yeah? I believe in you. Uh, wow, thanks. Okay. Wait, okay. how tall are the walls to heaven? Okay, so the walls to heaven are 90 feet tall. Okay, I'm I have gonna, an idea. I have an idea. Well, What's Link's going to just fly towards the walls of heaven, and he's going to like... So again, no! because, because they're I, levitation based, you can't actually I direct yourself. I fly 20 feet above the ground towards the walls. Okay. And then when I get to the walls, 
Anthony is a destiny player. Should know I'm gonna do some jank platforming shit. <laughs> I'm essentially just gonna fucking like scoot up against the walls and just like find every like That's micro little ledge the a and button. just like fucking like, just, a, like, like a goat on the side up, of a like cliff. I'm skidding up the edge of this fucking wall. I'm just doing. I'm just fucking bouncing. I'm hitting. Solo, I'm grabbing hey. every little ledge. I'm like, there's 20 feet in here somewhere. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on, like you can fucking do it. God <laughs> damn it! You fuck up everything. Wait, 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 I'm okay. just trying to get up. I'm Matt, scooting Matt, up Matt, and back. Do you have a bonus because you've glitched out FIFA? So, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm just like putting my feet at like 45 degree angles. I'm like finding little wedges. I'm just like, I'm just trying to like climb up this wall with these boots. Okay, that makes sense. That that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so go ahead and roll acrobatics for me. 19 plus three. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you successfully managed to destiny to your way up the, um, <laughs> the fucking wall. And as you crest over the, the top of the wall, Come you on, can normal, see. normal, it's not hard. Just, <laughs> just get up here. As I crest over, what do I see? As you crest over the top of the wall, you can now see basically the same thing that Taylor can see, which is Willie on his throne. And then you also see your dad, your granddad, rather, get thrown into a, uh, a another demiplane as well. So Daryl Wilson has been taken, put on his knees, and then tossed into a demiplane without the chance to say anything cool because Willie is in control. Uh, how far am I oh, no. um, from Dar- the... Daryl doesn't say anything cool, but he catches, he catches fucking Link <laughs> off in the distance, somehow knowing he's looking at the TV, and Daryl just like fucking takes his baseball cap and just gives a little <laughs> wave, and just gives a little wave, <laughs> and points to him like, this one's like, you can't, <laughs> and walks in. <laughs> Another uh, angel comes in from hell and is holding Jodie Foster and Glenn Close, and they get um. to also do one cool thing before they get thrown into demi planes. Wait, 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 wait! They definitely gotta... get thrown into a demi plane together. By the way, that yes. feels like they deserve each other. In this moment, Anthony, I know, I know this is outside the rules a little bit, but like, can I use kind of like my like scout rogue kind of like archetype to like look at Glenn and try and get a little bit of his like persuasion riz? <laughs> Yes. Like so I've absorbed, you know, like maybe the time that I've spent, you know, here, I can like get a little bonus in my persuasion, maybe. Yes. Let's say if you succeed on a nature roll, then you will be able to get, because he's Glenn, double advantage on one persuasion check for the rest got of the it, game. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Since Link just saw just one of the most confident men that I've ever walked the earth, can Link just like from that pure comments just get like a bunch of stat bonuses too from watching? <laughs> <laughs> Terrell, that's what we're doing. Anthony. Well, I mean, is that the thing that makes Link finally like <laughs> no. believe in himself and give a shit? No, Four plus 12, 16? Uh, I'm going to say a 16 is good enough. Okay, thank you. So you, you, you see the charisma that just radiates <laughs> off of Glenn Close, amplified by the fact that he's next to Jodie Foster, who has no Riz, has no charisma. Oh, is that what Riz? Charisma? Yeah, yeah, charisma. yeah, yeah. Right? Wow. Yeah, the kids are really with it. Yeah. Once, for the rest of the game, you have the opportunity to double advantage a single persuasion okay, okay, roll cool, cool, cool. or um, deception roll. That, how, yes. how far away is Scary and the Angel and Henry from the threshold of the gate? I'm going to say you have one action left before you are over the gate. Like, um, oh, you like you want to drop on the top of like where Link's going to be? No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to team up again? <laughs> um, I have Mask of Many Faces, which allows me to cast Disguise Self at will without expending Ooh. a spell slot. So I'm going to cast Disguise Self on myself. What do you disguise yourself as? I disguise myself as a different student from teen high. Margarita Larry. Pizza. <laughs> um, Larry. <laughs> Larry, okay. Yeah. And Larry is a uh, s- science guy and he mm-hmm. wears glasses. Larry, Larry the science guy. Um, yep, classic. <laughs> and just very innocuous, designed to blend in. Okay, great. Yeah, you look like the human equivalent of vanilla. Yay. You're like, like the Christmas like, prince. Is that Larry? <laughs> so now. Will and Freddy, is there anything you would like to do? Yes. In this okay. So, okay. So normal's still on the other side of the wall. Yes. You have one. Uh, you just boot. saw a master get up it. So if I you just want. saw Link cheese his way up the wall. So what is that? I have to roll acrobatics. Acrobatics. Okay. All right. Normal's like, yeah, that's the spirit, Link. Yeah, you got it. I knew my speech worked. I knew you'd believe in yourself again. You're going to get over all sorts of walls in this life of ours, my friend. And then uh, Normal's going to try to do what Link did because Link has inspired him. That's a 15. So a 15 is good enough. You imitating your best pal, Link, maybe. <laughs> you destiny to your way up the walls of heaven and manage to get onto the lip of heaven, which I assume you guys are like holding onto the lip before you like go over the top, kind of, if you want to. Or how, how are you? Does the wall have like, you know, what, what do they call it? No, there's no parapet or anything. Oh, parapet. Okay, yeah, I guess we're just hanging on it. Okay. 
Man, and, then we, the, and then we swing our feet over and then we're like sitting on it, you know, cool, like a, like yeah. a cover of an anime. Yeah, we're like, like those construction workers. Yeah. Or yeah. lunch pails. Oh, yeah. so. Like skaters, like the lip of a bowl yeah. dropping in on heaven. We, yes. Okay, okay, so now. We can cut to Taylor. We can cut to Taylor. Taylor is in the field of paper, a gentle rustling as the paper makes cool sounds. And he's just like meditating. <laughs> and then he's like suddenly quiet, no movement. But then suddenly his eyes bolt open. And he's like, wait a minute. And he grabs the first piece of paper to reach. Okay. Well, who, what's, what's on it? So you find the name Vincent Spellfeather, which was sent to us by Brian Holt. Thank you, Brian. So Vincent Spellfeather's information is on this piece of paper that you've grabbed. Hear me out. I don't have to find my piece of paper to change my name. I just need to change Vincent's name to Willie Stampler, and then we persuade him to do all this stuff. I have a double persuasion bonus that I can use on this guy, and Fuck. we can find anybody. <laughs> Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, aha. All right, so now you now I just need a pen. And we need to find Vincent now. Yeah, but we can find that. There's a directory. Yeah, there's a directory. Yeah, yeah. You that's how you yeah, found Daryl the first has time. A directory. Yeah, 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 yeah. lets us know where it is. It has a filing. It's like a Dewey Decimal System yes. but for humans, dog. Right. So you let's say I you've got a pen. pen. You probably okay. always have a pen on so you. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll just cross out this name and this guy's Willie Stampler, and then I'll initial the change. The ink is gonna immediately evaporate. <gasps> and go ahead and roll Arcana. 19 plus two. 21. So with the 21, you can tell that only Vincent Spellfeather can rewrite his own name. All right. But now you or know Chester. where Vincent Spellfeather yeah, yeah. is in okay. the Labyrinth of Doors. Okay, great, great, great. Who lives, who dies, who spells your feather? I love Vincent Spellfeather in the Labyrinth of Doors. One of my favorite <laughs> YA books. I think the author's a little problematic. <laughs> <laughs> Henry okay, is good. getting dropped, right? Yes. Well, how does this work? Henry gets dropped in front of Willie. Okay, so wait, what does that mean? Is like the angel just like open his yam yaw? What happens? Yes, the angel opens its yam yaw, as you said, and Henry pfft, gets okay. squirted out okay. under the ground. Except when the angel opens his mouth, nothing comes out. Except, uh, have a, whoever you want, Anthony, uh, make a perception roll with probably a pretty high DC. Link on the tower got a 19 plus two. Ooh. Like, well, then Link that... sees that a tiny little bug came out because Henry turned himself into a fly okay. while he was inside the uh, angel's yeah, okay. belly. Link's so, like, I hope, that, I hope that works for him. <laughs> so Willie, on the throne of God, <laughs> <laughs> is going to roll to see if he can notice that the person that he could sense specifically in another plane has come to him in the form of a bug. So I gave him a, a roll with advantage, and he got a 14, which I'm going to say is good enough. So we can tell the, the bug is, Wait in fact, Wait a minute, the guy's age. doing the rolling and checking the rolls of the same person? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> they they found out the problem with D&D. &D. <laughs> oh, no. Willie goes, get him, dude. And so dude is going to lash out with one of its tentacles. And as a demiplane door opens behind Henry, dude is going to hit Henry very hard. Do I get a chance to block to yes you get a this? chance to do something okay i am going to ooh, 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 ooh. hold on what's the name of that spell if daryl knew he could have fought he would have done something more than <laughs> just, <laughs> just could have, could have, I, it's, a, it's, it's probably not gonna work <laughs> don't worry no, um I'm where is it? i had it that'd be pretty awesome if fucking just henry killed willie right now that's the end that'd be, yeah, that'd be, that'd be so nice God. the inverse might happen willie's <laughs> currently fighting a guy who's a bug <laughs> Oh, no. Well, I mean, but that's his, you know, that's his. No, but you take the stats of the animal. Yeah, you no, take no, we did it wrong all of season one. After I lose my HP of the animal, I'm supposed to turn back into my Yeah, it's, it's bad design, in my opinion. That's not cool. What it's too powerful. The, or, are there there's no trees around, are there? No. <laughs> That's that's well, Will. Some that's, have that, that's is. Henry's last words. He pops out. <laughs> yeah, he pops into his human form. Says there's no trees around. Is there? And then gets slapped into the demi plane. Right, here's what oh, I'm man. gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Sensing that the jig is up, and I cannot believe after all of this, I had this spell the entire time. Uh, Henry has a spell called Investiture of Wind. Um, which I'm going to cast. Wow. Spell. Um, that normally you gain spell, a flying speed of 60 feet. <laughs> So, gonna fucking cut this episode in half. Wait, you had a flying spell the whole time? I am not proud of what I've done. <laughs> but you can only fly 60 feet? Will, tackle him in with you. Oh, Willie? Tackle him in with you. So, the way but, that you're set up is kind of the opposite. So, no. oh. there's like the door, and then there's Henry, and then there's Willie. So, he would have to like grab Willie, turn him around, throw him into the thing. Okay, well, while he's also being looked at by a bunch of angels and dude who are going to get a moment to react to whatever yeah. Henry does. And he's um. God. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and he's God. This is easy. This is easy. <laughs> I get one thing to do. Yeah. I cast reverse gravity on dude. <laughs> okay. 
like to heat dude into the air so that I can block the move. Do you know what I mean? Dude already did it. Um, yeah. So I'm going to cast Investiture of Wind, and I'm going to use its other ability. Is this like a ranged attack, you would say? What is dude hitting me with? Dude is hitting you with a melee attack. It's a, one of their tendrils just comes out. Whoosh. Can I cut? <sighs> it's okay to just let Henry go away. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> it's um, okay to make the, so... the story Dungeons and Daddy Season 2 about the grandparents of the kids from Dungeons and Daddy Season 1. <laughs> so, so Larry steps in front of Henry and is like, don't worry, I'll kill this bug. I'm Larry. That's what I do. <laughs> and um, I'm going to try to step on Henry, but not to kill, but just to show, hey, I'm on Willie's side. You don't have to put Are him. You, you don't have to put him in that big, uh, <laughs> that big plane thing. I'll just kill him right now. Real deception. Bethany, Bethany, are you trying to get another teen to be on his side? <laughs> Is this the master plan? Is Don't this, kill scary. Just to disguise yourself as another teen? 26. Oh! So your deception is 26. So he sees a kid he's never seen before in his life, Larry, the science kid, approach him and say, what did he say? I, um, let me step on this this roach. Uh, no, Larry says uh, force equals mass times acceleration. <laughs> Don't even worry about sending it into that plane. I'm just going to kill this bug right now. Willie is going to believe that you are truly Larry, the science guy. The science kid. The science kid. But I feel like that's not going to change his opinion that he wants to put Henry yeah. in the demi plane. <laughs> Okay, up to you. <laughs> Just saying, could have killed Larry's this bug sick. right now. Yeah, Larry's sick. Larry's sick dog. Just an experiment. What Whether it chill... works or doesn't, it still learns something. Yo, what a chill guy. Henry's just going to try to dodge this tentacle attack. Let's get it done with. Let's get it over <laughs> All with. Right. Roll a dexterity saving throw. 17. Dude got a 19. No! <laughs> Henry gets whapped back into the demi plane, turning it into himself just as the door closes and you share a hateful look at Willie as the door begins to close. And if you want to say something cool, now would be the time. I'm going to say... The door closes. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's yes. had enough of my shenanigans. Fine by me. I can me care either through. way. <laughs> Larry, you see as uh, Ron is summoned from uh, heaven, elsewhere in heaven, Willie goes, bah, don't even bring him close to me. Just fucking demi plane. I got nothing to say to this one. And the angel is going to open a door behind Ron and is going to try to spit Ron into the demi plane. See you later. I mean, if Willie wants that. <laughs> so Ron goes in again. The door is pointed at Willie. So if you want to say something or look at him or do anything as Ron before the door slams shut, you're free to. OK, so I think that Ron like looks at Larry and immediately recognizes scary. Okay. Like there's just like this vibe, you know, the D&D &D vibe. And so Ron whistles. And at that moment, because I have Pact of the Chain, I have the fine familiar spell. I'm not going to use it, but I have a familiar now. Okay, so yes, I'll say that Ron gives you in his final moment before the door closes the ability to summon a familiar. And then the door slams shut. Willie goes, Woo! That is that. Everybody that actually poses a threat to me is done with. They are in a demiplane, and now I get to do whatever the fuck I want. Hell yeah, honey badger waits for nobody, right? <laughs> you rock, man. So, <laughs> Willie, <laughs> Willie casts an eye towards you. <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. I get it. So roll, roll, de roll deception again. <laughs> 23. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, yes. So, my boy, the so Willie goes, I like you, kid. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes, I'm gonna Larry's like, what are you going to do next, my king? <laughs> <laughs> Willie says, I think I'm going to turn everybody into something like you. I think having everybody worship me as, as God, which I am, feels like the reasonable thing to do. So, angels, uh, why don't you go ahead and go into every single realm? And uh, if somebody was willing to fall on their knees and, and pay homage to me as their God, as their savior, uh, you're going to go ahead and let them live. And if they don't, you're going to slice them in half. Or you're going to fucking take your people and you're going to go and you're going to bisect them uh, and send them straight to hell. Is oh, that word? <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, that seems real. That's for, for one thing. And then obviously I'm going to 
get one of these rooms and try the weird spaghetti thing everybody's been going on about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> strike. I'm gonna fuck Marilyn Monroe. I'm gonna <laughs> make Cassandra watch the whole thing. Um, oh no, Cassandra. Obviously, make me a sandwich. Uh, oh, so, it's, and also, you, you'd be a lot prettier if you smiled, Cassandra. Oh. Uh, so yeah, I've won. I finally fucking. Oh, it's been so long. Oh, finally a W for old Willie. And in this moment, you come to realize that everything you need, you have. You have no allies. You have no super powerful magic spells. You have no amazing weapons. But you four have one another, and that is all you need to stop Willie Stample. All our days whisked away, but is there something more to say? You know that no one knows us better than ourselves. You should tell myself it'll be all right. Pretty lies let me sleep at night. I know that no one knows me better than myself. I know I'll get this right It's just a matter of time till we make it out of We gotta pick ourselves up and say Not today, no, not today We live for tomorrow Make steel and borrow Break where we can't change We gotta pick ourselves up and say Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Lee Wilson, Anthony Birch is our DM, Will Campos as Normal Oak, Beth May is Scary Marlowe, and myself, Freddie Wong as Taylor Swift. Our theme song is On My Way by Max and Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashley Nicola is our community manager. Courtney Terry is our community coordinator. Esther Ellis is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing, and Robin Rapp is our transcriber. Special thanks this week to Brian Holt for providing a name we use in this episode. And also, another special thanks to all of our Patreon supporters. But like more specifically this time, Adam Heck, Kristen Granado, Charlotte McGreevy, Marcy Brown, Robert Panis, Wheel Lord, Sammy J, Brenna, Panasonic Microwave, Triff Thor, Cameron Day, Mitchell Gronwagen, Tiana Kimberly, Ruben Zay, Dude Man 908, Josie Cunningham, The Pinball Agency, Salty Pretzel, Cornstarch, and Sydney Givens. Happy New Year! Big news! Scary Marlowe's band Butthole Ricochet just released their album Sophomore Slump. Stay tuned after the credits for a sneak peek at the first track of the album. And if you're on Patreon, you already know this. You've already maybe even heard it. You have the album in your possession right now. We dropped it over the holidays. But if you're not on Patreon, two options for you, just like for Rock rock from season one you can go to patreon.com slash dungeons and dads and buy it from our online store or you can just join our patreon at any level to get access to the album in addition to the previous aforementioned edutainment rap album rocks rock in addition to hours of bonus video and audio content shows one shots discord access a whole lot more it's all there and by the way it's cheaper to get the album by just by being a patron too but shh, don't tell anybody patreon.com slash dungeons and dads also big news for matt and myself the feature film we shot over the pandemic starring ashley birch and jordan rodriguez it's called We're All Gonna Die. Got accepted in the South by Southwest 2024. It's gonna be having its world premiere over there. Also, we're gonna throw it up for digital download after the festival, so stay tuned. We're still in the middle of resolving our third party fulfillment company, shutting down without warning right before Christmas. Good news is we got all of our inventory back in our possession, and we're setting it up with DFTBA, who we have used in the past as our fulfillment company. So more news when we have it, but expect Dice and the Deck of Daddy things to be back in stock when we're finally up and running. Check out all of our links at DungeonsAndDaddies.com. Stay tuned to hear some scary Marlowe music, and our next episode is January 30th. We'll see you then. Scary immediately falls asleep and once again sees... Okay. Thank you, Siri. I wasn't talking to you, though. No, no. Hey, hey Siri, she's playing music. Another stupid soccer song.